Hi there! In this video, I'd like to show you how easy it is to create animations for the web. Spirit is a brand new animation tool that lets you create and edit animations directly in the browser. It's easy, it's fun, and most of all, it saves you valuable time. So, let's get to it. Start Spirit Studio and make sure you've installed the Chrome extension. Once you've installed the Chrome extension, you can animate any web page. Let's start animating. Head over to medium.com. So, we want to animate this page. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Now, simply click on the Chrome extension to connect. As you can see, the web page is automatically connected with Spirit Studio. First thing we need to do is create an animation. Let's create one. Give it a name. And select the elements you'd like to animate. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And you can simply point and click to add elements to the animation. Let's add this navigation menu. And now let's add this top section as well. And finally, we want to add this banner. We'd like to select the entire banner container, but uh, instead with point and click, we are only able to select the child elements. Another way to select elements is to use Chrome DevTools. Simply inspect an element you'd like to animate. So, let's find our banner container. Ah, ha, ha, here it is. Go to the Spirit tab and press on the Add Element to Spirit button to add your element to your animation. Have you noticed how Spirit Studio assigns names to elements? These names are called XPaths and describe the position in the document relative to its parent container. This way, Spirit can resolve the elements and make them ready for animation. But let's ignore these for now. Let's create a group and start playing with the animation. When you roll over an icon on the left, you can see the selected element highlighted on the web page. And just for clarity's sake, let's give them a proper name. So, navbar. Top section, and the last one, banner. In Spirit Studio, you see a plus icon. When you click on it, you can add a property to animate. This can be any valid animatable CSS property, or a property that our web player can understand. For instance, the web player uses GSAP for animation playback. You can also use GSAP specific properties like Draw SVG, Morph SVG and any other GSAP plugins. For the navigation menu, we'd like to create a slide and transition. Select the Y property. As you can see, we're only moving the title here, so we accidentally selected the wrong element. Okay, remove the complete timeline. Click on Add Elements. We would like to animate this element instead. Now, for this navbar element, we're animating the Y position. Move it all the way to the top. Progress in time. Let's zoom out a bit. Move it to one second, and we move it back to its origin position. And now, as you can see, we've created our first linear animation. We can easily change the way how it progresses over time by changing its ease value. Let's use exponential ease out. Now that looks much better. Okay, so now let's animate the top section. For this element, we're going to animate the X property. Move the playhead to the beginning. We move the element to the left, progress in time, and then it animates in. Let's make it more staggered. So, we're going to shift the keyframes to the right, and we duplicate the first keyframe by pressing the Alt key and dragging the keyframe to the left. 
So now our animation starts from roughly 0.5 seconds. And to make it look more interesting, we're going to change the ease value to elastic ease out. And next, we're going to add another property called opacity. We want our element to fade in. Like this. Now, let's animate the banner. For the banner, we animate the same properties. So let's fast forward a bit. Although you can use any CSS property, it's good to know that some properties actually triggers a repaint and reflow in your document. Use CSS transforms whenever possible, like positioning, scaling, and opacity. These properties are rendered on GPU and will definitely improve the performance of your animation. Just to demonstrate, let's animate the padding. Now, here's our complete animation. This gives us a good idea as to how Spirit works. Let's save our animation so we can use it later. This JSON file contains animation data that can be loaded in Spirit Web Player to play your animations in production. You can also import the animations directly in Spirit Studio. This way, you can easily iterate over your animations. Let's reload our web page. Connect Spirit Studio and import our created animation. And here it is. We've just imported our animation. You can play it directly in Spirit Studio or you can edit it and make changes. It's totally up to you.